That's how I feel about strip bolts. We're gonna fix one today. All right, what we got here is a B-series engine. A very common problem with a transmission bolt. Can you guys see this? You might recognize it. Right here. Yes, this bolt hole is stripped. So what we're gonna do is try to fix this today. Try to fix this today with the Healy coil kit. So here's the tools needed for the Healy coil repair. The 12.4 mil drill bit, the Healy coil kit, so there's the Healy coil, the thread, uh, the tap, uh, to re-thread the hole after we drill it. Here is the insert tool for the thread. That's what comes with the Healy coil kit. But I have this other tool from a different kit um, that I find is much easier to use. Uh, so we'll just put the insert into here and we just turn it into the hole as opposed to this one, which is a little more complicated. We'll have to put the insert into here. Insert will be needed to put into here. And then have this up against the, uh, the hole. And then I have to turn this as well, which makes it very complicated. So that's why I will elect to use this tool instead it just makes it that much easier for the job uh, yeah so it makes it a little easier for the job so I'll be using this tool instead of this that comes with the Healy coil kit all right take two because I wasn't filming the first hole all right we're gonna drill this hole now with our trusty Milwaukee M18 drill. These are amazing drills. Okay, so we're gonna be drilling this hole. We drilled this hole already, but I wasn't filming. So we'll drill this hole now. Be sure that you have it as straight as possible, but it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It guides itself in pretty quickly. Okay. Alrighty. You can see, yep, the hole's drilled out. So now we're gonna clear that hole out and start tapping it. We're gonna blow out the hole with some air, compressed air. So make sure you're wearing some safety glasses. Next, we're gonna be using tap to tap the hole. I'm gonna use an eight millimeter wrench just because that's all I have to use. <clears throat> so, we'll start tapping this hole. You want to keep this as straight as possible. And make sure you get it straight. You don't want your bolt going in crooked. But, it hopefully should start guiding itself once it uh, catches a thread. It should go pretty easily. Uh, if it starts binding, you may want to take it back out to redo it. You might be able to, there might be a tool available that you can use a ratchet and a sock uh, to ratchet this down. But this is all I have right now, so this is what we're using. Oh, okay. It's starting to get tight, so I think it's reached the bottom, so we're just going to back it out now. There you go, got it out. So let's take a look. Here we go, we got our new threads in. So we're going to clean out the hole, 
And then we're going to insert the Healy coil. Okay. Once again, plastic. Make sure you wear glasses because you don't want to lose your eyes. Alright, there you go. It's all clean now. We're going to get our Healy coil. There's a Healy coil. And here's the insert tool. Place it in there. You see how it works. And we're just going to insert it. So we're just going to twist it in. Just like that. Just like that. It just twists it. Alrighty, there you go, just like that. There's our new threads inserted in. Um, if you're wondering about that little tip, if you're wondering about that little tip, don't worry about it. When you put your bolt in, it will snap off. So it's okay. There we go, we got our new threads in. Ta-da! So, that's good. Alright, that's our video for today on how to Healy coil and fixing those annoying strip bolt holes. If you uh, like this video, like and subscribe. Leave a comment, leave a feedback. If you dislike, please leave a comment. It's so annoying when you people leave uh, dislike, but I don't know why. I mean, if you don't tell me why, I can't help it. I can't fix it. So again, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Till next time.